This is Andy from SMKW.com, host of Guys Talk Knives. I'm here with team member Pee Wee. Pee Wee works the SE counter and I've got a brand new knife to show him. It's our SMKW exclusive. It's the new JG5. Yeah. That is a very cool knife. It is a cool knife. It is inspired by the Nesmuk knife. George Washington Sears was a writer in the 1880s. He uh, wrote for Forest and Stream. I guess that's what it was called before mm -hmm. Field and Stream, if I had to guess. But mm -hmm. this is based on the knife that he carried. He was somebody who pioneered like day camping. He would tell people all about going on canoe trips and really what we know as ultralight camping now comes out of that whole George Washington Sears thing. Right. But he wrote under the pen name Nesmuk mm -hmm. and the knife that he carried was called a Nesmuk. James Gibson designed this for Essie right. and for SMKW. It is based on that and inspired by that Nesmuk pattern. Um, it is, again, as always, with these gorgeous uh, SE knives. It's that 1095 carbon steel, and just like the PR4, they put that black oxide coating on it. They've also put on that sculpted micarta handles, mm -hmm. triple rivet, so it's nice and steady in there. Full tang construction ends up being like 9.6 inches overall. That's really good. It's a good, good size. A lot of people think you need a giant knife to go camping with. Right. Well, Sears was totally against that. He hated those people that uh, brought their giant buoy out there. He thought, I don't need an axe. I've got an axe right. to be an axe. I need a knife to carry with me. So his Nesmic pattern was fairly thin. It was good with a nice curve, a wide belly on it so that he could do some skinning and other camp tasks. Right. And that's exactly what James Gibson has done with this SE JG5. The blade on it is 4.875 inches long. It's about an eighth inch thick, was a nice size. And then the handle balances out at almost exactly the same, 4.875 awesome. inches. Yeah. Here's what's awesome. This is ours. Yes, he did this one for us. You cannot get it anywhere else. It'll be online. We're debuting it at the Blade Show. Actually, by the time this video runs, we've already debuted it at the Blade Show. This thing runs one fourteen ninety nine. That's 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 very. So, what very do you think good. of that, Pete? I love this knife. This is very awesome. It's very similar to the PR four that we've been carrying for a while now, um, and that's been a great seller. That that knife is sold so great. Uh, we have a hard time keeping them in stock, actually. What and do people like about that PR4? What do you think? Well, they like the comfort in the hand. Right. And they like the scales. The, 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 the texture of the scales is, is, is different than what they normally have on some of their right. knives. And it seems like it would be uncomfortable, but it actually is very comfortable it, in the hand. It does. It looks, it looks like it might be uncomfortable, but once you hold this, this thing is really right. comfortable, and it, and it and I've got a large hand, and this knife just fits my hand like a glove. Yeah, what's nice about that Macarta too is the more you use it, the more you wear it in, right. the more it patinas, the more it becomes your knife. Yeah. It is an it awesome, fits to you. awesome thing. Yeah. I'm Andy with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com. Hey, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you ring that bell to get your notifications. And if you're not following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, please do, guys. We put these videos out all the time.